Chill. What's good fam, it's your boy Dwayze on Blaze, you know the name, you know the face, you know the time, you know the place And today we're back with a brand new react, matter of fact we're about to get into why a night is the greatest of all time Now when I saw this I was like, really? Greatest of all time? Could it be a nighty? I don't know bro, I don't know um, But yeah, let's get into the video and see why uh, Shout out to Brando um, go subscribe to his channel. He he posted this video that we're reacting to right now. Danko, let's go. So I've been given a task by one of you guys to find our country's super hip hop producer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> man said, P "Man said, PS, your channel sucks." <laughs> Yo, why the hate, bro? Why the hate? Unnecessarily, bro. You recommend you recommend a man to do something, you request something to be done for you, and then you tell him after that, ah, your channel sucks, dude. Like, what the hell, dog? Brando, I support your channel. If others don't, I think your content is dope, my G. All right? Uh, leave the haters. Leave the haters in the dark. <laughs> and some of you guys might say, Herc, Mash, Keenan. There's way too many producers to pick from. Mm. So, way too while many. I was busy with my research, I came across one man. One man we sleep on. A guy we never notice. I would also say Tweezy. Tweezy should also be there. Although I don't know if Tweezy still produces these days, but Tweezy should definitely, definitely be up there. Bongani Fasi, but oh, he's not really in the game like that anymore. But he's definitely still one of the best super producers. Could I call him a super producer? I don't know. But hey, let's get into it. Let's go. Let's a man go. who produced a Grammy Award winning single. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Yes, sir. Hey, Anati Bongo Nyango. What you gonna do is grab your handle, pull down, and then pull. Up. Born January 1993, known professionally as Anati. What the hell? Yo, Anati's quite young. <laughs> what the hell, bro? This guy is only just turned 30. Bro, I thought Anati was like 35, bro. When I you, dude, I didn't know this guy was so young, bro. That's crazy for him to only be 30 now. African rapper, singer, songwriter, and record producer, including a music video director. Anati began his professional music Anati's journey gifted, at the age of 14 when he received his first major South African placement with Altido for the song When It Rains. What? Yo, this is so nostalgic. Like those of you who remember this mixtape, bro. You have to be some 90s babies because, bruh, this was like days of when rap crews in SA were just getting started. Like, they were properly officially getting started. I remember Glitz Gang, there was Jawsy, I think Tear Gas was starting at that time. I don't know if they were starting, but, you know, it was a day when, when, when like, rap crews were forming. Like, yeah, man, interesting times. Entity, you had Entity as well in these days. Like, man, take me back, man. Take me back. I know Nati was on the song, though. I didn't know he was on the song. His studio album, Artifacts, was released on 9 September 2016. The album features South African acts, a.k.a. Casper Nyovest, FTC, and Uhu. Goat. As Goat. well as Nigerian singer Tiwa Savage, Somalian, Canadian, Electro Duo, Pharaoh, and American singer Omarion. In August oh, 2017, okay. Anati was selected as the Young Independence Influencer. I don't know Anati produced for Marion. It's dope. But Anati does have, like, a lot of, like, international collaborations going on that we never really even hear about. Like, he's always overseas. He's always working with big artists. But it's just, it's just like, he never really shows it like that, bro. But Anati's been had the juice for a long time. Like, like you know, Brando just said, bro, like, this guy came in the game when he was 14. To think, if he was featuring on Altito's When It Rains, that was back in the day. That was like 2008 or 2007, somewhere around there, 2009. Like, bro, that was like when SA Hip Hop was really starting to really start to take off, you know? Um, but yeah, man, it's crazy. Like, as an artist, as a producer, you know, director his fashion sense his style like anati's just been always ahead of the pack bro like his hooks too this man's had some dope hooks in his time so yeah man who remembers that song uh catch me trapping at the pendo 
Thursday, I'm in the Penzo. <laughs> I forgot how it goes, but I forgot if it's called The Plan or something. Uh, but that was a dope song. That was AK and uh, uh, Anati. Like, yo. Those two cooked up some heat together, though. I must say. Of the year. Composure too. October crazy. 2017 saw Anati being and selected on the by beach. GQ South Africa as one of Try the best jazz bands in South Africa. In yeah, you see the style. Love the style. I can't now. Anati was selected to be a high-level influencer for the Lutu Lutu project. Yo, Lutu Lutu. Hey, which one is that one? Lutu Lutu. Yo, right? hey. Okay, never mind. Lutu Lutu. Lukul. Project set up by the United Nations High Commission hey. for Refugees. Lukul, the official Lukul. launch in South Africa for the project took place on 29th November 2017 at the Four Seasons Westcliff Hotel in Johannesburg. You know, when it comes to culture... Star 2018 has seen Anati listed in the Forbes Goat, Africa's literally. 30 Under 30 Creatives list. Have the hair. Anati Have the was a part of the creative team that worked on writing Brown Skin Girl from Beyonce's album Lion King. According to Time Bro, Life, hey, I'm learning some things in this video, I won't lie. Like, I knew Al Anati's pen game and his credentials ran deep, but I didn't know he was even working with Abu Beyonce. Beyonce. That's crazy, bro. Like, Anati might actually be one of the best producers ever. <laughs> in hip-hop out of South Africa? He might be the guy. I can't think of anyone who's got credentials. I know he's even worked with Khaled. You know what I'm saying? So, like... I just feel like he's he's his international bag runs stronger than most producers from SA. Anati was elated to be part of the team that exhibited pure energy and were open to cultural shift. Beyonce's songs and videography have since caused a huge wave of success with the album, which celebrates blackness in all its forms. Blackness. This man also collaborates Some with the associated act, aka in composing the album. Be careful what you. Will. Now you wanna charge me eighty thousand for a beat. For them to go from composure where Keenan was beefing with the fact that Anati tried to charge him 80k for the beat to them doing a whole collab project together, which was fire. Be careful what you wish for. Oh, don't forget to pray. Hey, do you know that God is on the way? Uh huh. Hey, bro, that was a fire project. I won't even lie. That's an underrated project. Uh, be careful what you uh, wish for. Anati and AKA Anati handling producing. Or production. I think AK also handled a bit of production. Uh, I think that's why this project was so good because AK and Anati both are artists and both are producers, so they're able to exactly bring to life what they pictured in their heads. So yeah, man. If you haven't checked out that album, I'm a 2K. Go check this thing out, bro. It's fire. But this album wasn't that long ago. I think it was like what 2018, between 2016 and 18 or something. So y'all should know this wish for the album was released on 28th july 2017 with a positive oh, response from critics it was supported by three singles ten fingers don't forget to play oh, and ten Holy fingers Mountain. And on to me, Bible. one of south africa's classics but yo who killed don't forget to pray hmm? ah, this, uh, this track but anyway hey. before we carry on these are all the songs that anati was involved in wait let's look yo 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 anati was on a run guys guys wait i have to i have to i have to just anyway. Before we carry on, okay, let's go. Morale, 2008 Morale, ain't no thing. Altido, when it rains, 2008. This is when it was calling himself Anati Royal. Okay, that's probably why I didn't realize because I, I, I do remember the song. I used to like the song very much, but I didn't know Anati was on the song, honestly. And um, and yeah, I think he also changed changed the spelling of his name as well. Um, 2009, Lebo M, is Lebo Matosa? Baby, I refuse. World healer sounds like thunder. Okay, I've never heard any of these songs. Uh, I won't lie. Twenty twelve, Anati thunder thighs. Aibu. These are all the songs that Anati. Twenty thirteen, Chad to Don or La featuring Casper in your vest. Was involved. Oh, uh, twenty fourteen, you went crazy. This is when hip hop in SA was like going through a golden era. Like you could just see. Look at the amount of work he did in twenty fourteen. It just shows you. 2014 was lit. And these tracks, bro. Uh, Anati, Bananas, featuring DJ Khaled. I, I think I remember that song. Anati, Freedom, Casmo in your vest, bad one. I don't remember that. DJ Dimples, yeah, yeah. Show me that, yeah, yeah. Is that that song? Oh, yo, 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 yo. Ah, who remembers that? DJ Dimples, Criminal. I don't remember that song. DJ Dimples. He produced a lot for Dimples, damn. He, he probably produced, like, the whole album. Her... Dimples, we ain't leaving. Dimples, way up. 
DJ Milk shit, my own. Oh my god. That was a banger, bro. That was a banger, my own. Yo, one of Casper's dopest verses on here too. Um, yeah, this was such a time, guys. 2014, bro. Fistas Mixwell alone featuring Ricky. Yeah. Fistas, Ricky, yeah, Double was... HP, DJ Speedster. Yo, this is still 2014? Wait, what the hell? Dark Shibaleza remix. An IT produced? That's crazy. Didn't know. Uh, DJ Somebody. You my special somebody. DJ Speedster. Bro, these are classics. Ghetto, ghetto, bro. Seeing this is just bringing so much nostalgia. I know you guys are probably pissed off them going to every song, but hey, it is what it is. Four to eight, t t t t. And Casper was featuring Casey Veggies. What happened to Casey Veggies? Casper single for the night. I don't remember that song. Anati feeling on me. I kind of remember that song. Feeling on me. Dream Team Shandies. Don't remember that song, but it was probably a banger. Casper. To, to, I, I don't know what this is. To, 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 blind. To, 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 blind. Okay. Ricky Rick. Fusach, fusach, fusach. Guys, these are such bangers. And if these are all in 2014, that's crazy. Chad, uh, the Don, I think it is. Sorry, mama, moving out. <laughs> okay. Danny K. What the hell? Uh, Ricky Rick. Oh, we read that. There's too many. 2016, jump. Oh, man, say jump. Hey, what, what, say how many racks? He slowed down a bit in 2016 for some reason. This man. 2017, 10 fingers. Don't forget to pray. I guess this was when they dropped uh, Be Careful What You Wish, wish For. I had a song with oh, Mario had... Open Up. Oh, okay. 2018, Anati, Tiku, The Vibe, aka Me and You, Daddy Issues 2. Okay, the production wasn't going as crazy in 2018. You didn't really have hits like that. Just like before that. DJ Khaled got. But before 2018, it was going crazy. 2019. And then, yo, but. Anati's like not. Imagine Anati was super consistent, bro. Imagine how many bangers he would have, bro. Like. Every year, like, especially as much as he was in 2014 and I think 2016, he was going crazy. He needs to come back and do another another run, bro. Because I feel like every year an IT comes back into the game, it's going up, bro. It's going up, so. A big. And by that, I mean big. DJ Khaled. We're the best. Another he recently one. made an appearance on hip-hop legend Busta Rhymes' album. And Anati seems like crazy. he isn't even staying in the country. That's how okay this guy is. I'd easily put Anati at the best hip hop producer to touch this land in South Africa. I know that's mad, but I'd also put him in the top twenty best artists of all time. Of all time, or you guys oh, come all at time me. is crazy. Though. Let me take you back. He's great. Though. I this song went mad. Where were you when this song went mad at parties, clubs, on the streets? Okay. Bro, did it really go? It was mad? one of the hits that year, and he gave us. Yeah, it was a hit, but I don't know if it went that crazy. And I still feel like don't listen to his. Cool Kosa flow and his lyrics, but pay attention to the depth of this man's production. The design, also not bro. just that, Ooh. the mastering and the Nazi's music, the mixing, that shit is good. If there's a man yeah. who has made hits for himself and other people besides AKA, let me know in the comments, okay? And okay, I'm about to say this: even say AKA it. doesn't come close to a Nazi. When we're talking uh, about production, credentials, okay, production, production, everything. And that is different. Our AKA life. does not come close to Anati. AKA is good, but Anati. And I just feel special. like Anati could go head to head with Kanye West. Fight Facts. with me in the comments. I think so. Do that after. I think so. I think that uh, Anati could go head to head with one of the best producers of all time. With the best producers of all time. And. Yeah, man. Like he 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 hasn't he hasn't ever wavered from the quality of work that he puts out. He might not always have hits, but he's always got solid, solid production, solid work. He's a great artist, like I said. You know, songwriter. Um, even in his melodic bag, he'd be killing it. But yeah, guys, you guys, let me know what you think. Do you think Anati is one of the greatest producers South Africa has ever seen? Uh, I mean, the guy, like I said, he's working on projects we didn't, we don't even know that he's working on. Some of the biggest projects in the world, low key, humbly, he doesn't even brag about it. He doesn't even boost it. So it's nice to see. I love to see it. Nati, do your thing, my brother. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Catch your boy in the next one. 
let go